Og til dem vil jeg gerne vise dig, hvordan du kan få Solana Collection på OpenSea og Mega Solana Collection og få det på OpenSea. Du må probably think it's really difficult and it's actually not. Of course you can't mint on the blockchain Solana through OpenSea as you can see right here. There's no, you can't do it and I'm, I'm, I'm on my phone's wallet right now and it doesn't work. So the thing you need to do is make a Solana collection on another side. But that shouldn't scare you because that's really easy to do as well. It's actually nearly easier than doing it on OpenSea. So you want to head over to launchmynft.io. This is like a site where you can launch NFTs like the name. And you can see a lot of new NFTs collections, they start on here because this is where you can launch your NFT collection. You can see a lot of Solana collections right here. And when you launch your collection right here, you will actually get on OpenSea if you do these steps that you should do. Some of these are on OpenSea already and some of them are not, but they are probably all gonna be on OpenSea when they are minted. But you can also just mint one of your NFTs and get it onto OpenSea. First up you want to connect your wallet. We connect our Phantom Wallet because we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to do a Solana collection on OpenSea. Then you wanna hit create, and then you wanna create your collection. I've already like made a video on how to generate a connect collection. If you don't know how to do this, actually, you should watch my how to generate 10,000 NFTs video. Uh, there I show how to generate 10,000 NFTs because you need to generate some NFTs to do this. This is also an NFT generator. It's not only a launch NFT site. So when you already have done that, generated your collection, there'll be a video in the... You can just see it on screen right now, what video I'm talking about, how to generate. But then you want to do this right here. You want to just fill this out, like, if you watch my video th uh, that I did, or uh, that, uh, that I've done, you should already know this, actually, you should just uh, have your out... You should just have your output ready, but now you have your collection ready. Magic Eden, no, not Magic Eden, not FNFG. Then it will show up here on the new collections as you can see right here. There's already some that has sold a lot. And you can see a lot of them have sold one NFT and that's a reason for that actually. Just go into Dame Punks. Oh this is not a collection that I can use, that's a polygon. I'm actually go gonna go over to a, an account that has a collection. I'm not gonna show the collection though, but I'm gonna go over to one. So as you can see right here, I have my collection right here. I'm not gonna show anything of it, I'm just gonna blur it out. I have a collection here on Launchman of G that I've created. And if you follow the steps from the earlier video, just everything like this. Generate collection, you get the zip files, no the JSON files, and then you upload the collection and then success. That's really easy to do. And I only went over to step number three in that video where I need to upload the JSON files, but that's what it costs gas fees. And it's gonna cost like to generate a collection and get it onto OpenSea, it's probably gonna cost you like three dollars. Three dollars max, I think. That's that. What's gonna say? Three dollars max. It's really cheap to do, and this is the cheapest thing you need to do. We have this. You want to hit this right here, this uh, icon right here. And then you get a verified create ID. I'm gonna blur this out because I don't. I'm not gonna show this collection, but you want to copy that address right there. And also, one thing you need to do: these collections have one minted in them. Uh, this just doesn't. You want to mint one of your NFTs just to make sure that everything is working, so you just mint one of your NFTs and you're not gonna lose the money, you're just gonna lose the gas fees which is like sense. but when you've done all of this you wanna go over to Discord, they, they have a Discord right here just click on that and I didn't know anything about this um, like one month ago, so I've learned a lot about this then you wanna go over to help and hit these dots right here and then go over to collections.metaplex then you wanna do a new collection and then you want to just type in the name, this is going to be the name that's going to be shown on OpenSea the name is already taken, it's going to be like this, like V3 if you name your uh, collection CryptoPunks, it's probably going to be like V7028 or something like that so your symbol, your logo, your description, this is going to get stored on the blockchain and on your OpenSea this is what shows up on OpenSea then right here, first verify create address you want to you want to paste in the address that you just got from your collection and you want to add it. You can also add individual NFTs. Uh, you do that through Magic Eden Mintless tool, but that's that's not fun to do. Then it means every time someone mint, you need to go in here and enter the new NFT address. That's not fun. Just first verify the creator address because that does it automatically, as you can see right here. Import them automatically. Verify creator ID. And then you just want to create your collection. You can see this costs 0.35 uh, dollars. Uh, since it's not that much money you need to create to do for this then just wanna wait a couple of seconds and I think you need to approve like three 
of four uh, transactions, which are not that lot, it's gonna cost like s around this number right here. I think it's probably gonna be this number exactly. And then when you've done that, your collection will show up on OpenSea. And when you've done that, you can just connect your wallet to your OpenSea and start editing in the NFT, uh, maybe description or something like that. I actually think you can do that actually, now I think about it. But just on OpenSea, this right here is gonna what's gonna get stored on the blockchain. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if this helped you. But thank you for watching. I'm good.